What's up guys, your name's Gaming here, and I got a real good gameplay for y'all today. Y'all gonna love this. So today, I have a gameplay that, now you're gonna be looking at my setup like, hold on now, your name's Gaming. What the heck is going on here, and why are you running this? Now before you start blowing up my comment section, what the heck is this class setup? Let me explain real quick, alright? So, me and my friend, Harper Games, if you haven't already known him, Mo Green or Phantom Greens because he keeps changing his name for no apparent reason um he um me and him made a challenge you know to do a random gun class setup right so we went on went on the internet and uh, we looked up random or RCG um and we challenged each other to use random class randomly uh, generated class setups on this website so, I end up getting a really deadly GK, GKS um, class setup, and since, well, not most of you, but some of you probably know, I do like the GKS, it's like one of my favorite, so, uh, I said almost set a sword, you fool, it's my favorite SMG in the game because it's literally just, just, you know, no recoil at all. If it, if, you know, it would be my top number one if it was a VMP killer, but it's just sadly not still because the VMP somehow still outbeats it long range probably wise too but if you're like a master GKS user I really do think you have a chance against the VMP like this might be the only VMP killer besides the SOG maybe if you're good with the SOGs um this GKS is just amazing I love this gun like double grip on this deadly you're just no recoil at all you're just hitting everything um but with that being said, so I made a randomly generated class. So that's what you're seeing with that like white and purple gun. That's mine. I just picked up this guy's GKS because I had no ammo. Um, and so what you were seeing is a randomly generated class. I have trophy systems. You know I don't run those. So that's how you know it's randomly generated. Um, and uh, yeah, just a normal game of Safeguard. With a... Uh, they weren't really sweats, but they were good players. Um, and I dropped like maybe I dropped like 76 kills, I think. So yeah, it was a 76 kill gameplay with a nuke. So I don't know what happened in that spawn area. That's where it really popped off, and that's where I really got the advantage to start to um get closer and closer to this nuke. Now you're gonna see in a minute that I should have died off of my 20 streak just now, or whatever. Now. Yeah, yeah. Now I know you're gonna be saying, "What? What? You should have died. How is you alive?" Well, when I, when I, you know, when I told you that luck runs in Call of Duty, it, it it runs in Call of Duty, and then this this one moment in time, this is when it shined upon me, when the purifier nearly kills me, but I end up beaming him with the GKS somehow, barely, and I mean barely. Any any more time spent in that fire, and I would have died. Somehow, I was lucky enough to su to survive it. And soon, I think I'm gonna be on a 25 after I turn this corner, or go through the. Uh, I don't even know what I was. I, oh, I know why. I was going back and forth because I was trying to debate whether I should go around and just wait for them to call on the robot. There's a 25 right there. So um, after this, I just I just stayed spawn and wait for them to push the robot in, so that way I didn't risk anything. Cause I I like to play passive and aggressive at the same time. If you play too aggressive, then you just end up dying. So I don't really play that aggressive. It doesn't matter who it's against, cause any anything can happen in Call of Duty. Anything can happen, whether it's a corner camper, it's a shotgun. It's an LMG that three shots you all the time, which that, that every LMG literally three shots in this game is ridiculous. Maybe even one shot, who knows? But they just melt you either way. And this is where I was stuck on a 29 or 28. Nope, it was 29 because after we lost, that's when I was one off of it. Round pushes over, and now we're gonna go to uh, round two of this where I get a simple kill. And I got the nuke, got a couple of stoppable medals after that. We we won the game, when, and I, I dropped 70 something kills, so I'm actually happy about this gameplay. It's really good. Look at that, 72 and 16, I did good. 
I wouldn't think I'd. You would. You would think I would do garbage with a gun that. I I I do use it. I just don't use it a lot. But you know, looking at this gun setup and I have body armor on, you would think I'm I'm just gonna die instantly because I don't use any of this. I don't use this optics. I don't use body armor and I don't use trophy systems. But there it is, the nuclear. I got the nuke. Let's go. That's like my uh. Let's see. I don't know how many nukes I got. I think I got like four or five. I forgot what number nuke this was. I think this is a. Uh, this might be four. I think. I'm not sure. I gotta go back and check because I don't. I haven't really checked my stats in Black Ops Four in a while now. But either way, new gameplay, guys. Please drop a like. Come on. It's a nuke, my man. My man's. Subscribe. And hit that bell. Now, there's no need for music right now, because I was going to put music in, but I've been talking the whole five, six minutes of this video. So, there's really no, there's n really no need to, um, there's really no need to put no music in, since I was just talking a whole while. So, uh, thank you guys for, you know, stopping by just to watch the video. New gameplay on me. And, um, I got more gameplays, but there's only, like, a couple more gameplays after this one. And then we're moving on to World War II, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm out.